Five seconds, Morty. It'll be fine. Hello, hello, guys. Good evening, and uh, we are back finally para sa ating second Entire series. Team, so lower bracket pa rin naman yung ikaw cover natin, and uh, we'll be having gaming gladiators up against Tundra Esports. So weto. Ito na ba yung uh, first tournament wherein uh, gladiators will be eliminated? First time lang din to na first round yeah, ng uh, lower here, bracket na punta yung gladiators. Tundra Esports, tignan natin kung mabipigilan ba nila yung uh, tuloy-tuloy na championship Ready, for gladiators. Man. Now with the opening pick, Timber so Mirana on gladiators. Tundra, they went for the Enchantress, Pangolier. And then uh, transition tie dito sa atin, second phase bannings. Still waiting for the uh, fourth and fifth ban. Tingnan natin kung sino pa yung mare-remove nila. And then transition tayo sa atin, third uh, and fourth pick. pick your hero, you moron. Yeah, five seconds left now. Fourth ban ng Gladiators ang inaantay natin ngayon. Oh, dire team ban! Batrider will be removed. Oh man, Rick, there's only 10 seconds left to pick a hero! Um, you, you, you better pick your hero. Five seconds. Whew, Radiant Team Ban. Oh man, Rick, there's only 10 seconds left to pick a hero. Um, you, you, you better pick your hero. Five seconds. Radiant team pick. So Darkseer will be oh, removed. Darkseer. And then Ember pick Spirit, pick third pick Rubik. para sa Gladiator squad will be having Rubik. So, uh, interesting. Medyo okay naman si Rubik. Especially kung makukuha may Rolling Thunder. Malaking impact na yan for Gladiators. Now for Tundra Esports. Third and fourth pick ang aantay natin ngayon. And uh, wala pa naman tayo nagigita ang uh, big answer over the timber saw. Uh, five seconds, Morty. It'll be fine. Possible kumuha pa sila ng isa pang support hero. Pero kailangan nila lang kumuha ng core hero dito since dalawang pick yung kailangan ng uh, Tundra Esports. A minute and 30 seconds remaining para sa reserve time. Come on, tired team. Pick it, pick it good. Beastmaster. Hello, boss. You, you, you really Hello, boss. Hello, boss. You're getting ten seconds left. Olin, sir. Come on, Radiant team. You had to pick him right. Makapagala na sa bahay ako, boss. Di ako na olunan. Pero mamaya nasa Makati na yan. Andito na, boss. Ay, dyan na ba? Ang lakas na ang huwus yung malas na nasa Sierra. At tinig ko kung makakalampag. <laughs> so, na. Beastmaster, uh, yung kukunin ng Tundra Esports dito. Tagalog with Tekis. Well, at least Tekis. Yep. It's a good hero for this game. Magic damage. And for Beast naman, okay din naman to. With Enchantress, maaga mag enable dito yung Tundra Esports. Position 1 na lang yung nahanap natin for Tundra. And uh, marami pa naman atang uh, available. 
Meanwhile, for Gladiators, di natin sure kung ano pa kukunin nila dito. Di natin sure kung ano ba magiging lane ng oh, Timber. Pero mukhang mid lane Timber sa na ito eh. Yep, Underlord will be picked by Gladiators. It's one good way to answer the uh, Beastmaster if ever mag-Dominator uh, approach. Yung uh, Beast, and then okay din naman mag-sustain uh, items yung Underlord dito. Such as Pipe. So I think uh, not a bad idea to grab Underlord for this game. Kailangan na lang rin siguro dito yung mga position 1 hero. Na pwedeng uh, commander sa Underlord pagdating sa lane stages. Yeah, like MK. Parang MK yata one of the best hero na pag sa Underlord. Parang okay din siya against the team. One of the heroes then for us, Heater. We uh, still have a lot, pero safe lane heroes yun yung hanap natin for both sides. So, 40 seconds left on this time for Tundra Esports. So, uh, parang for them, they just need to move na din kalaban ng Beastmaster. Radiant Still have start, band. pero sila na yung magtatanggal ng MK. I was thinking na maganda sana yun for Tundra East. Since sila din naman yung maunang pumik against uh, gaming gladiators. But for GG, since MK is already removed, parang wala naman na yung hero masyado na kaya talaga mong shutdown na Underlord on the lane. Oh man, Rick, there's only 10 seconds left to pick a hero! Five seconds, Morty. It'll be fine. So, uh, tala nga. Actually, Tondre yung uh, nag-panot ng MK. Kaya nga eh. Medyo weird eh, no? Oh, Nang kahit sila naman talaga yung mauunang pumik. Baka wala lang talaga silang planong kunin yung MK. Yun lang yun. Yeah. And, um... Well, we still have Mark? Naga, Terrorblade. Parang ayun yung lagi rin pinipik on the safe lane here. Naga ter bleed more oh, man, Rick, there's only 10 seconds left to pick a hero. Yeah, man, I'm gonna put him on available. To be honest. Um, you, you, you better pick your hero. Medyo scary seconds. lang. Since, um, kapag ganun yung kinawa mong heroes, diba? Usually, more on farming yung mga yare. And the uh, heroes for gladiators, parang, ang aga nila mag-co-control ng map, eh. Yeah, parang ang bilis lang, you know, for Team Burst, right? For Underlord. Team Burst or Underlord, din. Ito yung, dalawang, ano, mamamain ka bigla, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Parang wapronta na lang agad sa mga team fights pero hindi kaya naman sobay ng Thunder Esports since they have this and Tangle D. Kaso for Thunder, well, parang rolling Thunder really yung kailangan mo for Tangle D para makarap sa team fight. I mean, there was a time na yung Thunder Esports yung mahilig sa ganitong approach. Yung talagang more oh, on <laughs> tanky or beefy hero. And yung time na pick sila din ng pick ng Chaos Knight, di ba? Yung tipong gusto nila is i down lang kayo sa game. But uh, right now, gaming gladiators yung mayroong capability nun with this kind of heroes that they have. And uh, still looking pa rin naman tayo dito for the position 1 which is both missing on both sides. And uh, I think okay naman to. Kapag ganito yung nangyari, parang ang hirap sabihin na last pick advantage for gladiators kasi mauubusan sila lalo ng hero eh. There are 40 seconds left on the reserve time for uh, gladiators. Dire team pick. And Sven. And the fourth on the esports. MK. Parang MK. Come on, Radiant team. You had to pick him right. But uh, they'll go for Ursa Warrior instead. So uh, Ursa, oh, okay, naman siya against Thunderlord. Though, di nga lang talaga siya yung hero talaga na popular ngayon eh. Sige natin. Kung talagang, ah. Uh... Viable pa rin ba si Ursa? Okay naman siya up against uh, these two tanky heroes like Ursa hero is one of the best kasi or, talagang mataas naman yung uh, scaling ng damage niya once na mag-build up yung kanyang Fury Swipes and uh, sobrang ganda kung gusto mong makakuha ng uh, early momentum for Tunda since ma-open up din agad yung Rosh you have this Beastmaster para dun sa early uh, potential push then uh, okay pa rin naman sa teamfight overall you have Pangolier, you have Techies so I think not bad, not bad choice para sa Tundra Esports itong uh, Ursa and Gladiator suddenly transition into that uh, medyo slow face position 1 which is going to be more playing. Yeah, more Interesting. playing against Ursa. Parang sa ganong klase ba siya parang mas nagpapaboro sa Ursa and for more playing parang, hindi, pa naman, parang hindi naman siya agad yung skill. For the more. Naba. Parang wala, or, walang wala ideal hero ni... na si Ursa sa attack speed stolen din eh. No? Mm, so, meron kasi siya ng overpower eh. 
And uh, wala rin naman masyadong stats si Ursa since yung itemization mo dyan, di ba? More on damage then or maybe HP. Ganun lang may nangyayari for Ursa. And uh, actually, okay na okay siya up against Morping, di ba? Kahit nag-shift ka into strength, mas na mas mag-build up yung Furious 5. Once again, kayang-kaya kang patayin pa rin yung Ursa. And uh, do you think difficult blade game or uh, same pa rin naman like yung, battle theory for Ursa? Yung ginagawa siguro ni Yuragi na... Oh, uh, mas gusto ko yun yun, no? Diffuse all this battle fury or cider battle fury and then into diffuse all day. Depende, no? Kung gaano kaganda yung magiging leaning for Dante Ace. Siguro kung malulugi sila, you can, he can just go for battle fury and then diffuse all day afterwards. Yep. Pero Kaka kailangan pa talaga yun, no? Parang maganda talaga yung diffuse all day against series of gladiators na sobrang dependent on their spells. So, uh, a quick pause. Hindi ko lang kung bakit. na iwan yung mga particles particles ng hero <laughs> sila rin gumagalaw eh. yung ilaw-ilaw nila eh. na iwan ano ba sabi sa chat chat sound issue what tagal ng break tas sound issue alam dito ngayon sa chat hindi na lang hmm. nung in-game na mismo tsaka nila in eh, no? Anela Pinot. Para at least, di tayo natong nga sa loot. Na lumulutang pa yung mga effects. <laughs> no, wow, weapons nila. Hindi <laughs> na suot ni Warplane yung E-Blade, eh. <laughs> okay. Natanggal sa kamay niya, Si Pangolier, chill lang. Wala namang masyadong effects-effects yung kay Pangolier. Tsaka kay Tevis. Wala, wala siyang kinang-kinang. Ito nga nga lang muna tayo dito saglit. Kuha muna kaya ako ng gabon. Sabang natin ako. Kino muna ako ng gabon, ano? boss. Sige lang, boss. Nakaya ng dasal to. <laughs> boss, nakapos pa din, nakainunaan ng gawin. Ano, okay na ako. Yes, boss. So, dito. I think, uh, ready mo muna din yung uh, hot compress. Oh, Naka-ready na, boss. Nakapatong na ulit. Okay, dito tatagal yung game natin. Wala rin mo muna gawin lang yung mga heroes, pero mga okay na natin. Kung tumulog. I'm ready. Alright. Alright.
Finally! Ito na. Okay, start na yung game natin. So, do you think uh, we have a chance for Tundra para lang uh, of course, ma-eliminate Annie. yung Gladiators? Eliminate? Ewan ko lang kung pwede ma Pero, Relax, for the game, Marie. feel ko may chance. Na manalo, at least. Parang di mo rin kasi sure. Parang during uh, Western Europe, nanalo naman yung Tundra sa kanila. Pero ibang bagay na sila. Get Masters lost. without sacks up for Tundra. Kung full lineup siguro, mas may chance, tingin ko. Parang ito lang talaga yung nakakapalag for GJ, no? yung mga Western European team. Kaya Western Europe or uh, Betboom team. Yung palang yung nakikita kong pumapalag talaga sa kanila. Well, let's see. Bounty rune, medyo malayo pa naman. And nag-aabangan lang naman dito yung magkabil ng side. Whew, 30 seconds until the, 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 this place goes ham! Bounty run secured might be two for two. And even exchange lang naman tayo dito for now. So looking at the laning we have here in the middle lane matchup, this is the team against Panko Zero. So Universal Heroes on the parehas. Parang more on farming na naman yung mangyari between us. Shout out nga po pala. Kay uh, Jofen uh, Sincer. Kay Juves, yan. Shout out po sa inyo. Bakit wala na nag sniper core, um, situational lang talaga siya. For now, sa patch ngayon. Kapag wala lang talaga pang holy siguro and okay sa lane stage, doon lang siya pinipik. So, for Ace, yep, even though you have Atropy Aura, wala namang pa kasi skater dyan. Hindi naman niya madireduce yung uh, Fury Swipe damage. So, medyo mahirap to ah, para sa side ng Gladiators and uh, speaking of, Tofu dito might be in trouble. Starstorm, ooh, sakto nag-level 2. Pinatay ni Ace yung isang creep para na mag-level 2 si Tofu. So, uh, very well played. Communication on, is the key. Yeah, pero wala pa rin man tayo na ako ang kill for this game. Or hindi nyo pa naman yung nangyayari sa akin. Even na uh, bottom lane, we have two range shield. For uh, Gladiators, pero yung maganda naman for Tundra Esports for this team is Tekis and the uh, Beastmaster na kailang mag-spam out ng against the Morphe. Mm -hmm. So right now, wala pa naman tayong First Blood and it's almost 3 minutes in, snaking. Talagang continuous pa rin naman sa pressure onto the Reaccio. Sticky Bomb this time, it's over to Celery. Salitan lang kung sino, pa, uh, sino yung atake yan. Not so fast. Yun lang, di makalasit. <laughs> Bawal lumasit, boss.
Sa so surprising to si medyo okay pa rin naman yung nangyayari for the Underlord. No? Parang hindi siya yung na-pressure dito up against Ursa. Well, every time na available yung Firestorm, ayun yung uh, time na pwede siya makapag-farm ng uh, full wave. For 9, up against Quinn, middle lane matchup. Advantage talaga the for Timber. Universal hero pa naman uh, si Quinn. Oh. Kaya parang damage stats yung nawawala for 9. That's a lot of damage. Ang damage. Pero you still have your spells pa rin naman to secure some last hits. Pero in terms of laning Lugi, talaga pero Ace on the top lane. Already has the boots. Might be fine. Huh? Harpy Stormcrafter. Yeah, medyo na sulit naman. To the point na nag expire na lang yung duration. So medyo na gamit gamit naman yun yung chain lightning dun. Four minutes and still no first blood. So, we have a queued up item for the Ursa. Wala pa naman. So, we have an idea if we can get the Ursa. We Or the Ursa. We have a 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 Ursa. We so, parang kahit sa mo na siguro yung gagalaw for Tundra and then you can just go after his battlefield. Parang kaya niya yung 1v1 yung bumpy. morphine. Yung maganda dun. Kailangan lang talaga masabay siya sa item and uh, doable naman na to para sa Ursa. Lotion! Pero Pit of Malice! Oh, Skeeter! Oh, sakto pa nga yung lift for the Urshak! Yes. So, so na-interrupt nun si Skeeter. Snaking. Joining in. So, wala sila magagawa dyan. Skeeter's still alive. Awi 2000 with the uh, Nature's Attendant. Kaso wala na. Nag-expire na. Medyo malakas yung hero dito ng Gladiators. Ng tatlong to. Compared sa tatlong heroes ng Tundra. Firestorm kasi. So, parang wala rin nun magagawa pa yung Enchantress talaga. This early on. Unless may mawash na magandang food. Aha. So, yeah. I think, uh... I'll send it to Gaming Gladiators, in case you'll be able to sell it. Back to the lane, pero power rune. Tofu spotted. Lips out. Blast off, di naman itituloy ni Snake King. Pero swerte, Arcane rune, over to 9. It's already level 6. I like how this one feels. Actually, ginamit niya agad yung Arcane rune dito. So, uh... Might be looking to take the stacks. Yeah, or kills. Where are they stuck? No, but it looks like the Queen is still on the mid lane. Oh, that's it. 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 For the first catapult and the uh, tower on middle, already down to half HP, and it's not yet over. They will continue. Another set of wave available and continues. Pare naman sila dito with this catapult. I think possible nila mabasek to. Chakram will be thrown, and that's for nine. Ooh, the nine secured. Para kay Queen. So map control given, pero wala naman sila nakuwang gold out of this. Pause again. Sound, sound issue. Naman. Same. Basta gladiators ng lalaro, lagi may sound issue. Wait nga lang bossing habang nakapause. Okay lang boss.
Lakas na ulit guys. Sana okay lang kayo. Okay lang yan, boss. Uy, wala pa rin. Pagkadang pangitain para sa game natin. Okay, mukha magka-battle fury naman dito si Ursa. naka up naman na yung uh, cornucopia. Medyo okay na rin eh, no? Like, may plus 7 damage. Di ba tinanggal yung damage ng Perseverance? Oo, uh, wala na. Mat matagal na yun, di ba, na tinanggal? Uh, Kasi yun yung maganda sa Perse dati. So, at least ngayon, di ba, yung uh, component na, corn uh, na Cornucopia. Para siya yung dating Perseverance na may uh, damage. boss ni ganda ni Gwen headset kahit na nato doon ay so kala ko sa akin eh sabi ko wala pa sa akin kala ko sa headset hindi I mean, uh, malakas na kala ko sa akin yung narinig hindi nga nawala na tumigil sa amin sobrang lakas na ulan sige mamaya nasa Makati na ulit to tayo dito muna sa QC ulit comeback muna So, still zero one pa rin naman tayo at 7 minutes. So, with the rune, wala na pala. Pero mukhang even trade lang naman. Although, with the rune, the action will be taken by a 33. But on the other side, so, for that level 6, so that he has to roll. So, he's trying to look for a... Uh, Awi? Awi! Awit! Awit? Awit sa iyo. May napatayin yun, boss. So, uh, 8 minutes na si game natin. For the power run, not gonna be lucky again para kay Queen. Now they have the controls with a blast for the follow up. Queen goes down. Leaps out para kay Tofu. Trying to escape, but the swashbuckle is available for 9. And Tofu Dito would be taken out also. But that's still down for the set of gladiators. And mga kuwa pa ng regeneration noon. Well, si Tof, si Celery naman. Yung mga kuwa na niyan. Sa mga nun, pag kay 9 pa napunta. Kaya, yeah, back to full HP again, Celery. Sinaktan lang naman si Snaking, si Celery. Mapanakit. Aray, ang sakit ng pusa. Mapanakit ng pusa. Mapanakit ng pusa. So, net worth sitting on top still yung uh, Pangolier naman. Actually, for Dracchio, is doing a good job. Uh, continues pa rin naman yung uh, farm ni Dracchio dito. And mas mayaman pa nga siya compared to Ursa. Wala na kasing sobrang lakas na power spike yung Morphling. Eh. Dati yung Ags eh. Mm, ngayon kasi parang, parang hindi, hindi na siya yung ganun nakakatakot eh. Yeah, pero yun Philip Nalis. Awi dito. Nako po. Wala na naman silang uh, follow-up control. And, uh, kanina pa nila tinatry patayin yung Enchantress. But it's not working out. Now, ano gagawin ng Beastmaster? Okay, nag-Dominator pa rin naman siya. Rolling Thunder again for the third time. Over to Queen with the blast up for the follow up. Proximity Mines is available. Now, this might be huge. The damage should be enough for them to take him out. Queen dead for the third time around. Yep, two way goal recently for uh, Tonto Esports. And uh, looking at the current network, we have a 9 million turns of network followed by uh, Diracho. They're also going to get at uh, sa Fiend's Gate and the uh, Ace. Hit up Malice. Connects on the 3. The Skeeter, he needs to be careful, a little bit too deep, Dirakio will be joining in and he'll morphs into the Ursa, so building up the Furious Swipe also, wave from in forward, Skeeter will be taken off for sure. So, medyo napalalim si Skeeter dun. Medyo weird na nga eh, actually, di ba parang... Napigilan na kayo ng pit up malice, pero gusto niya parang ituloy. Parang nag-overstand na sobrang sobrang sa Sunday Sports, so medyo nakapaya pa dun yung 
Pwede, yung dark tier na lang actually. Uh, Dyer's top tower is under attack. Pwede pa yata yung top lane. Radiant just fortified the structures! You know what I'm talking about? Radiant's bottom tower is under attack! Parang ganda na ginagawa nila sa middle, no? Talagang, uh, na-slow down nila kahit papana yung timing for the timber, so... But still, that's timber. Alam naman natin yan kung gaano kalakas yan. Kahit vanguard lang yung item niyan sa ganitong minute ng game. Medyo madami na siyang pwedeng i-provide. And uh, siya pa nga yung kukuha ng ancient stacks. The Fusel Blade up para sa Pangolier. So that's a quick, a quick one. 11 minutes, meron na tayong uh, The Fusel para sa... Okay, wala pa siyang... Ah, hindi, actually, available na rin yung Corrosion. Uh, Pinarchase niya na rin. Magkaroon na siya siguro ng level 1 Lucky Shot. Ang laking bagay na yan. Mataas na magiging damage out of the Swash Buckle. Pero, Diracchio dito. They'll do Fun Snaking. Hindi naman siya gagamit ng ultimate kasi wala pala. Cooldown pala, sorry. Ito na. I think dumating na ulit yung ulan. Nandiyan na. Humina na dito. <laughs> Palitan lang, boss. Mamaya sa akin na naman ulit. Bottom tower. Deny. Oh. May crew one lang. Nakadeny pa nga ni Celery. And sakta pa with the stolen wild axe. Wala pa nakakuha ang gold. Yung Tundra dun sa mga Tier 1 tower, lahat na-deny ng Gladiators. <laughs> Mas may pera pa yung Gladiators eh, no? May pera pag nakaka-deny ng tower, di ba? Wala na sa Tier 1. Wala ba? Alam ko meron 40 gold. Tinanggal na. Pero Tinanggal parang na, yun. Hindi ko alam eh. Pero alam ko meron gold. Siguro sa ibang tower. Hindi ko napapansin kung Tier 1 meron. Hindi siya sa Tier 1. Sa, sa Milirax meron gold ang pagkakalam. Or sa 3rd tower, yun. Yung sa Tier 1, tinanggal na yun eh. Matagal na. I mean, parang sa grid lang siya nung nagkaroon. Yung sa tier 1 tower. Nung in-update yung nagkaroon. Parang next na big update yung nagkaroon din. Arrow combination, tatama naman. And, uh, 9 dead. That was a killing spree. Awi 2000. Well, mukhang wala naman siya magagawa dyan. The way out for the enchanted. So, 2 euros goes down for the other esports. So, um, back to even network tile. Let's go to sleep. Solid naman. Meron pang GPM si Dracchio. Wala sa akin. Ano ba yung dati kayo nag-alive para nakikita yung mga ganyan? Hindi. I mean, may neutral siya na pang GPM. Ah, kala ko naman. <laughs> Relax ka lang. Tatampo ka ka. Ah, kala ko sa kala. Kala ko sa naman trivia sa gilid mo eh. <laughs> Nainggit ka sa trivia eh. So, uh, one of the uh, best thing to have an Ursa. So, bandaling kumuha ng Roshan. And uh, Aegis secured para kay 9. No, kaya, no? Sinulit mo yung Aegis. Parang inantay mo munang mag 3 minutes bago mo kinuha. Para pagka-expire, pwede nang respawn yung Roshan. 33 Primal Roar committed over to the Mirana and uh, mukhang mamatay pa rin naman dito si 33 the arrow it won't connect pero ano naman yung whirling dead for Queen and that's the Beastmaster dead suddenly Gleaming Gladiators yung gumagawa ulit ng mga move parang nahinto yung Tundra Esports dito stolen Primal Roar para sa Rubik this is huge even though makapag rolling Thunder si uh, 9 may way pa rin sila to control him The prize is 
prize is mine. Oh boy, Dyer's middle tower is under attack. 16 minutes in, haste rune, makukuha naman dito ni Queen. And uh, tamang uh, farm lang naman dito ng neutral na galing sa shovel ata yun. I don't know. Haste rune. Chakram. <laughs> May chat will yung ganun eh. Ito yung mga hindi ko na enjoy dati kasi wala pang Dota Plus nun. Nung lumabas yung Dota Plus, pa-quit dots na eh. <laughs> Sa sarap ng mga chat wheel eh, no? Pag, lalo na pag yung mataas na yung level. Oo, sagad na yun. Ayo, oh, yung ayun yung kapag ano, diba? Oo, oh, pang pag-intro. Uh, <laughs> Bottom tower is under attack. Oh, Radiant's top tower is under attack. Anyway, ganun. Chat win nung here nung. Pero yung level nung. Some more pling. Oh, pwede kong master tier na yung more pling mo nung. Solid. Solid then. Pas ulit. Hindi <laughs> na tayo gumagas na sa doon. <laughs> Parang dalawang best lang ata ako nagka-Dota Plus. Doon sa main account ko. Then, wala na. Hindi, hindi naman. I mean, yung swag bag nga, hindi ko nga nakuha yun eh. Sa main account ko. Oh, yeah. Ba't kukuha ako sa account ko? Hindi naman naman mag-alaro. <laughs> sabi, sabi, ang naisip ko pa nga nun, di ba? Yung, alam mo yung event? Di ba may event doon? Dati yung, oo, oh, yung sa Candy. Yun. Kapag uh, counted naman siya as game, pero kalahati lang. At sa pagkakalang ko, sinisip ko, yun yung lalaroin ko na lang sa account ko. Na-stress ako. Kasi play na play yung mga kalaro ko dahil sa average namin. Kala mo ano? Rank match. Ang nag smoke tapos grabe yung combo. <laughs> Hindi ka mag enjoy Tapos patay yung kampi mo. Seryosong seryoso. <laughs> You want the three pings? Make it a lot, not a BKB, made a pressure. Okay, lights naman ngayon. Kanina, sounds. Okay, back to the game. Stop. Stop. I may isa pa. Shadows <laughs> take us. Eh, uh, na rolling thunder na si uh, Queen. So that's another pickup secured for Tanda. Finally, na hawa tayo dito ng uh, another uh, movement sa Tundra Esports and it was successful si Queen na naman parang lahat ng successful attempt for Tundra kay Queen Radiant's bottom tower is under attack
rage. No. Radiant spawn tower is under attack. To wash your blood from my claws. Kill secured. And uh, wala naman tayong uh, mga big team fights up until now. Oh, More of a pick off in the kita natin dito. Man, you might as well save that energy because Radiant just fortified their structures. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Couldn't do much about Radiant's bottom tower, could you? Now Arrow connects. Tech is in trouble. And uh, for Queen, will be able to slice him up. Tech is down. Rolling Thunder continues putting them on over to the Underlord. Ace will be taken out as well. But now they have the Primal Lore over the Timber. So that's gonna be the uh, Timber down. Two heroes dead for the set of Gladiators. They're looking for more. A Skeeter. He wants to run someone down and the fissile bleed over to the Rakyo morphs into the Ursa Earth Shock afterwards. Nine will be continuing with the chase. Dean got my shield catch for the slow. And looks like that will be the end of it. And uh, easy tormentor for the side of Tundra, you score. Little friends, uh, here we go. Mm. Maganda sana yung sa Pegas eh, no? Pero okay na yun. Pwede na. At least nakakuha sila ng tormentor, di ba? At least na-deny nila yung tormentor sa gladiators. So still, wala pa rin naman tayo dun sa parang... Uh, possible timing for this morph since uh, mahirap pa rin talaga lamaban up against Tundra especially with this Ursa na nag-enable na rin a Moonlight Shadow with a smoke play naman para sa Tundra Esports well they might be going for 33 but look at Skeeter will be jumping in forward Quinn in trouble the Timber Chain not gonna work even with the Pavis not gonna be enough to keep him alive he goes down first Nine is looking for the next target, and that might be Celery, but he won't continue. Now over to Ace, who got trapped on the back line. Down he goes. Just a repeat, they're already dead. 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 Eight k advantage for Tundra. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Gotcha. So, as of the moment, 8k na yung kalamangan ng Tundra Esports ngayon. And uh, that's 22 minutes in. Para sa game 1, continues pa rin naman sila dito. Like, hindi pa naman ito yung pinaka-power spike for Tundra. Having BKB para sa Beastmaster, para sa Ursa, and Blink. Ito yung pinaka-maganda na makakuha ng Tundra Esports ngayon. Wala pa silang way to initiate aside from the uh, Pangolier. Which is, wala rin naman siyang Blink Dagger. So, once na magkaroon ng Blink ng Ursa dito. Medyo may hirapan na yung Tundra Esports, ay yung uh, Gladiators. Parang pagkapasok na wala nang pipigil talaga, which is BKB. Wala naman tayong spells for Gladiators na tumatagos on the immunity. So, um, Roshan is finally up. Still a uh, daytime pa rin naman. Still high chance for Tundra Esports to take this Roshan. Oh no, Ace has been caught again and again. Underlord? Eh, may Ursa. I think Halberd yung pinaka the best way to answer out Ursa. Yeah, for a gladiator. Blast off two pounds Tofu. He lips out with a four step use, and that should be enough to keep himself alive. And as for Skeeter, might be a little bit too tip, pero meron naman siyang piggy bito just in case. 
And uh, as for Dirakio, back on farming pa rin naman para sa Morpling. Alam naman niya eh, wala pa rin sila magagawa dito sa ganitong situation. And even after getting BKB, parang, parang hindi pa rin eh, no? kulang pa. Tumatagos kasi ito yung Roar, even yung Rank. So, just sa... Uh, Lalo pag nagunan pa tayo ng Basher, on speed. Pero ito on the esports, parang wala pa rin naman silang balak kumasok inside the game. We're trying to force out this tier 2 tower middle lane. Tapos rin naman tayong force station for gladiators. It might be possible with the drums. Radiant's middle tower is under attack! Radiant's middle tower is destroyed! So Roshan, second Rosh, Ages and Cheese will be included. So Age is on the speeder this time and cheat for 33 Oh hang on, this is gonna be huge. They try to initiate first, they might be able to bring down the Pangolier, but the, in exchange of what? Nothing BDB from the Rasha. Mm-hmm. In naman, but we don't have the rolling thunder for Tonto Esports, so we have Pangolier, so we have time for setup. Nine key advantage for Tundra. Twenty five minutes in, and um, still, the try pa rin naman nilang uh, increasing lead nila dito, and that's gonna be the second tormentor. Skeeter gets the shard. No Same way. Why? 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 Yeah, but it's good. It's my shard, darin kasi yung pangul dear. I see. The shard of Greg even is keeping us in reach. Na meron kami na reach up kung kasi sama nti. Eh, to na celery. Hindi siya na dahil sa first up TP nila tayo ng detection. Magpagati pio at pangasis celery dito. Wala pa rin naman tayo ng basher for your skater, but I think yun naman yung magiging excited niya after this. Radiant's middle tower is under attack! BKB, wala naman siyang uh, detection over to Ace, so that's so Alam one of the problems right now. Actually, meron siyang TP. The Sally will be dropped on oh, Ace. Hindi siya pwede mag-TP, nalalabas siya for a while. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack! Well, Team Bristol goes down. That's... Oh boy, How many times now? I think under the chaka timber, you know, getting casualty. Yeah, but then he go lead for the three sports. Age is still up for a skeeter. <laughs> Baka mag-post ulit tapos mananala pa gaming gala. So mag ganun yung nangyayari yun eh. Wala mo nila yung liquid last time. Oo, nag-post tapos. Dire-direcho. But for uh, Gladiator, it's not going to build it. It's not going to build it. It's not going to build it against Ursa. 
parang sulit na sulit naman yung halberd is game. Also has here, uh, I mean it also has evasion. Pero wala. Gusto lang talaga nila magpakuna sila getting that uh, armor items. Illusion! Sana, all, nami-miss na maglaro Nang Dota ba yan, boss? Well, Diracho As his BKB patches is tough for a skater But he need to back away It's forced out to BKB on the morph Wala pa rin naman time butterfly for this morp And uh, meron naman siya 3.6k gold And uh, Abyssal Blade closing in Para sa ating uh, Ursa Well, Aegis will do expire gotcha. 3 minutes And let's see and find out kung uh, Ilan yung added time for this rush? Kasi ito yung magiging uh, key for Tundra to approach the high ground. And matas yung chance na night time makakuha ng Roshan yung Tundra Eastwards at unless babantayan talaga nila we're in. Kaya naman nilang patayin agad yung Roshan since they have Ursa. Na better yung Roshan na rin kasi agad eh, no? Kinagandaan talaga ng no, Ursa. Ursa, Ursa lineup. Yep. Kasi kung Ags yung makuha nila matik sa Ursa wala na. Ang hirap na. So uh, at this point, iwasan lang naman yung nangyayari And uh, I think okay lang naman to since more time for the Morphling to get his uh, next key items And we're not even sure still kung enough na ba tong Butterfly to actually uh, turn this fight around To be able to um, man up up against Ursa Lift, try to burst it down, the Pangolier 9 goes down That was a quick one without any buyback, they might be able to keep on going And with the Shiva's guard available, Parai Queen is over to RE2000 but the slow is given, the Chakram, Rilling Death, available naman, but they have the Atlas to hold him in place, the active days are given, not gonna be enough to keep him alive. Now he goes down, looking for the next one, not beautiful arrow for Tofu, who founds the Techies, and that's treated for Tundra Esports. Yeah, what a handbag for Gladiator, it's just a long time, you know, we're still in Roshan. But at least we can see the team fight finally, we've been playing Gladiator, since we're just playing Tundra, we're just playing Tundra, we're just playing Tundra. Dyer's middle tower, it's gone. Oh, Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Oh boy, Dyer's middle tower is under attack. So Tormentor finally makakakuha naman yung Gladiators and uh, Shard given over to Celery. Well, uh, goods naman yan. At least sa Rubik na punta. Yeah, at least nakakuha na tayo ng Tormentor. <laughs> mm -hmm. For the effort. But and now Roshan is up. Aga yung blessing na to. For, uh, oh, on its way. Magamad na dito yung Ursa. Kailangan natin. Aga yung blessing eh. 
Hindi pwede ng umabot pa ng 35 minutes and uh, this is gonna be huge for Tundra Esports. More survivability for the Ursa. Actually, kahit umabot siya ng 35 minutes, alam ko agans pa rin yung laman niya. Kasi nabuhay na siya ng umaga. Nilipat lang talaga siya dun sa kabila. Ayun yung pagkakaalam ko. Ah. Ganun ba siya? Correct me if I'm wrong. Kasi times na nagpapalit eh. Pero ayun yung napansin ko kasi nung minsan. Ewan ko lang. Or Nag- baka... Yun nga yung inisip ko rin before. Like na... Same yeah. pa rin naman. Pag, pag umaga siya nabuhay, feel ko... Pero, na isang time na kinover ko, nagulat ako, nagpalit. Naging refresher shard pagpunta sa dire side. Ang gulo nga eh. I mean, ayun nga, hindi ko rin mag-gets ngayon eh. Atos over to the Ursa, Pit of Malice is available, Skeeter dito, well, we'll be running away still. Yeah, we already used his Enrage, but it's a good cooldown on this Enrage, they can 0 5 but it's only counter nine. Yeah, Skeeter blinks in forward without hesitation. He wanted to kill the uh, Ace, Ace dito with a 4 stop, multiple 4 stop committed over to Ace. Will be able to escape, Yul Scepter to kite down the Ursa with the arrow to connect, still alive for now. But Ace still dropping, pops the Greaves, but they have the extra follow-up damage, disarmed, and there we have it. The reactive taser damage, 9 gets the kill, Tofu lips out, Ogres will thought them not gonna make it, losing 3 in right now for the set of Gladiators. It was a good team fight, and uh, for uh, Tantra Esports, they have cheese, they have uh, Aegis and Agnes Blessing on the Ursa. Yeah, it's like 4-9 since the Galaxian 6 game. They can just use the Rolling Thunder. So, the last time the problem was even though he has the Rolling Thunder, we have enough damage for the Morph. But with the cheese, it's already time to get the Thunder Esports. It's going to win the team fight, and maybe we're going to be able to take this up first set of tracks. We're going to win the Thunder Esports. We're going to win the Thunder Esports. I don't think they're going to go back to the defense track. They'll have 40 PHA for Gladiators. But this is the best that you can get from Tundra. They're going to be very bad in terms of the objectives. They don't really have a serious attack. Pwede nga talaga, meron silang Beastmaster. If you don't have a Beastmaster, you can get a tower if you want to draft. So 19k advantage for Tundra. For Gladiators, I mean, they're still trying to get that late game timing for the Morpling. Up until now, uh, we still believe na lacking parin naman yung damage sa dito. Actually, is going for Silver Edge for his next item choice. I'm not sure how good this is. But speaking of more playing, he do found Snaking. And uh, the Atas Styles connects. There's nowhere to escape. Snaking will be taken out. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Age is still up for 2 minutes for Tantra Esports So without the tech, it's a bit of a damage and control But there's no good time Oh, the primal roar initiation with the rolling thunder Take out Amirana Well, at least there's no buyback to Amirana So we can say that it's worth it for the ultimate It's hard when there's a buyback And it's just the cooldown of the cooldown of the roar It's not that long, it's not that long So it's like we'll wait out here for the taking It's like we'll still have the duration for the Aegis It's like we'll still have the duration for the duration for the Aegis So 18k lead para sa side ng Tundra Esports. Here for items, available naman na. Gold and sweet. So, going for Satanic para sa next item choice kay uh, Diracchio. We have a stolen Primal Roar for Celery. Heal us. And that's another Tormentor. This time will be given to 33. Hawk Dive, available na. Okay, go for Tundra Esports, Aegis will expire in 30 seconds. Um, mm -hmm. Not sure if they still want to try, but actually now smoking between Gladiators and it's gonna be a uh, Skeeter spot. Yul's arrow. Chakram will be thrown, still has an Aegis para kay Skeeters, so I think there won't be any problem, but on the 40 uh, chatless, 
a quick first silver edge and now the parallel is stolen over to the Bangalore. Down he goes, Keter manning up. Can he actually do this? No, he can't. He goes down, but that's how the ages and sneaking. Will be zoned up by the more playing itself. Now that's gonna be four heroes trying to guide it down Skeeter. He'll pop his biggie before this. While well, the look at the finish off. This is uh, Techies, but not gonna be able to do it. Skeeter okay. running away. They have the nullifier. They have the bit of malice, but has his biggie. But still pops the enrage, but the Yule Scepter is available. And status resistance won't work. That was a huge win for Gladiators. And that was Ursa down without any buyback for 70. Silver Edge from the Morphling. He takes out this enchantress and your stolen primal roar from uh, Celery. That's a lot for uh, gladiators to start rolling thunder. Parang andito na tayo sa point na parang nakakait na ng gladiators yung heroes ng thunder. What's the matter with you? You just did Dyer's bottom towers. Destroyed. Scepter, nullifier. Down to 40 in some deep for thunder is for so for them parang wait out na naman tayo na another lotion. Forty minutes, and uh, we have eleven k lead for Tundra. Yeah, I think uh, yung uh, biggest factor then is yung stolen primal roar kanina, which is walana para sa Rubik. Yeah. Parang yun so, naman yung pabigil ng roar, eh, pero aside from that, Drasho can just ride with him down. So 11k golded pa rin naman for Thunder Esports for River at this point of the game na parang hindi na nagmamatter yung golded na meron yung Thunder Esports kasi nandito naman naman yung network, nakakasabay naman yung Gladiators Aha uh -huh. And uh, medyo scary na nga rin yung ano eh, Timber Like look at this item, once he hit level 25, grabe yung power spike to para sa Timber so Yung burst damage, mas tala mag increase since andin yung uh, double chakram talent now, Roshan will be spawning. How many? The added time kaya dito. Smoke play for gladiators. Uh, anticipating na nagabang dito in Tundra for the uh, Regent Rush Pit area. <laughs> Ayun lang. Pero dito yung God. Kaya lang agadin yung blessing para yung apa. Demako dito in Tundra Esports. We already have the agadin. So, thank you. 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 They will not let this happen with the MLS. Well, ito tamang ingat lang naman. Proximity mines, sasabog pa nga. So I think Tundra Esports has an idea on what's going on. Diraki dito will be cutting out the waves. They need to, since uh, Super Crypto nasa may bottom lane. So kailan nila ma-push out kahit pa paano. But suddenly, Tundra will be deciding to smoke up this time. And will be sending out those illusions. Providing vision on where they are. Hawk dive over to the uh, Ace. Ace, can he survive from the Ursa Skido with the BKB? But they have the four staff sets. And the uh, Underlord still will Ace will escape. And 33 Dito is dropping low in the hands of Queen. Oh, yeah. Na patay pa si 33 Dito. And now there goes the Rubik down for 60. One for one trade. But then the Gaibak to Mandito's 30 will be rejoining re this fight. And as for Ace, I mean, Ice of Queen, he'll be taken out. That's two down without any buyback for Gladiators. But yeah. unfortunately, Roshan we'll have to tie in Roshan. Yeah, parang ang pahan ng timing na to. For Tundra Esports, they actually need to play it safe. Yun nga, the snake can get caught. Still has the reactive team. So, once you're going to be with Gracio, so... Sagal pa nahihintay din na Tundra Esports. 
Sagad ba yung BKB ng uh, Ursa? I think so. Actually, di pa naman. 7 seconds pa lang. Hindi, di pa sagad. Pero kanina pa to ha. Second item nyo to. Sabihin, hindi niya masyado kinakailangan gamitin. Kasi bagay, onti pa lang naman yung mga team fights na. Like, 43 minutes, 15-19 lang yung score natin. So, medyo mababa, di ba? Parang nagkakaiwasan lang. And uh, grabe na yung items dito na magkabilang side. Well, uh, yung shoutout nga po pala. Kaya uh, Bob Danday. Yan, nanonood daw sila ng mga tropa nila. Pugad, kuwapo. Well, Roshan will be uh, spawning soon. Inaabangan nila yung uh, max uh, spawn time ng uh, Roshan dito. That will be another uh, Ag's Blessing. So, kanina maganda ibigay yung Agrim's Blessing. Is it 9? Or... Ah, meron na. Kaya 33. Okay. Drums of Slum. Uy, shoutout nga po pala kay Paul John Ramos. And kay Julian... Jumao. Watching from Norway. Swashbuckle. Venice. Lang alang tatamaan. Pero ito, Moonlight Shadow for the side of Gladiators. They do found snaking with a quick lift. Not enough time to react. Down for 90 seconds without any buyback. They do found uh, the Enchanters as well. So, uh, are we 2000? He goes down. Two dead for the side of Tundra Esports. So, even you have ages, parang there's no way you will be forcing this fight. Oh, attempt for 9 over to Ace. And uh, there goes the Ursa. Lift save over to the Underlord. He's alive. And how about 9? He needs to be cursed. Shield crash. Quinn blinks in with a side of guys on Athos. And there goes the quick burst. Quinn, nicely done. And the Skeeter. No, he's not going to be able to do it. He's just going to be for this. Parang nagtutuloy-tuloy na to for your gladiators, multiple team fights na yung napapanalan nila sa susunod. And put on race force, parang wala na silang success skill na nakukuha. Parang ang hirapan na rin sila. Ang ulo na sobrang hero sa gladiators, parang hindi na rin naging effective yung pangulir. Ang dami na rin disabled ng gladiators. Like for an Ursa, diba? Once na wala na yung BKB mo, sobrang dali mo nang kontrolin. Wala sila nalifier for... Ano ba? Wala sila nalifier eh, no? Sa... Tundra. Hindi, sa Tundra wala. Kaya, hirap na hirap yung Ursa eh. Pina-force up, force up lang eh. Tapos may lift save pa. Gold and sweet. Dire's top tower is under attack. Laki bagay ng Silver Edge sa ganitong play, no? yung tipong mangi scout lang. Ang ganda rin kasi talaga ng Silver Edge. Pang break na Enchantress. Pero sa Enchantress ang talaga yung pinupurohan dito ni Antiracho. Well, okay naman nga. Sa ganitong game, even yung mga support hero, sobrang dami na yung pwedeng gawin na, no? Kung baga mapatay mo yung support. Pang labanan din talaga yun. Mapatay mo lang yung support dito, ang laking bagay na yun. Parang advantage na agad sa inyo. Uh, tingnan mo na yung nangyayari, diba? Tundra Esports, they are the one who has the Aegis. Pero they're the one who's playing defensively. Pero pa ba tayong uh, mga possible power spike for more thing? Meron pa naman tayong Ag's Blessing. Which is din naman siya yung parang uh, sobrang needed na item. But it does help for the stats. Para sa attack speed na rin, if ever. Pwede pa nga niya tanggalin yung boots and uh, get satanic. 
Like, I have Skadi muna siya dito, instead of Satanic. Naka-double damage yung Morphling. Wala silang nullifier, so wala silang pang dispel. They have enchant for Aoi 2000. So that might be a way para lang ma-remove tong double damage ni uh, Drakio. Pero sobrang hirap meta for Tundra if ever din nila mapansin yung double damage. Suddenly, mamamatay nilang bigla yung mga backline heroes dito ng Tundra Esports. Now, they will scout out the Beastmaster. Tansyahan lang naman para sa magkabi ng team. And there goes the quick burst that we're talking about. Enchantus was taken up, but they have to lift save over to the Rakyo. He'll be fine. Holding Thunder continue, but a bit of mass connecting on the two heroes can pop BKB for the Skeeter. But it's out of BKB right now. They have the Primal Roar over to the Underlord. The Force that will be able to keep him alive. Draco Dito with the BKB popping up on the self. 32 Dito dropping. Then down goes the Aegis, morphing into the Ursa. And now over to the Fangle there. He goes down as well. That's the that for the side of Tundra Esports. Skeeter trying to do his best to try and take out Queen. But can he even do it? They have the Bash over to the Morphling. The Draco Dito will be able to wave for him out back to safety. They have the Swashbuckle. Can they finish him off? That's the question. No. He's still alive. And might be able to escape from this or maybe take out Thursday in the process. They might be losing more for the side of Tundra Esports since uh, 9 will pop the cheese back to full HP. But the controls given was plenty enough for them to kite him out while Dirakio still trying to kill this beast master. The Shiva's guard came in and takes him out right now with a Pangolier. Ultimates up finally. Rolling Thunder to escape, and that was huge for Gladiators. Walang namatay sa Gladiators, tama ba? Wala, kahit isa, wala. And uh, that was a force buyback online. And grabe yung pangkakait na ginagawa nila dito for Thunder Esports. Eh, Skeeter, hindi na talaga siya makapalo ng kahit uh, sino man. Dito for uh, Gladiators, hindi na naging enough. Even though you three, even though you have the Aghanim Scepter, meron tayong Skadi and Shiva. So, sobrang wala nang silbe yung Aghanim Scepter, yung Aghanim Blessing. Since wala ka naman ng heal na masyado nakukuha talaga with the drums. Parang nagkukulang na talaga sa damage dito yung uh, Thunder Esports. Nullifier talaga. Ayun yung missing for Thundra, no? Yung 4 stop, iba si Ace. Siya yung naging target. Ay, wala rin kasi bibili ng Nullifier. Parang punong-punong na rin kasi yung sasilin na items. Might be a uh, 33. Siya naman yung mahilig talaga bumili ng Nullifier for Thunder Esports. Pero for this game, mm -hmm. he went for Hex. Oh boy, Dyer's middle tower. Sadness. Now, um, that's Beastmaster down for 60. And uh, everyone is alive for Gladiators. For the Ursa, he can't afford to die once again. Dahil uh, alam to ng Gladiators, oh, no, wala pa rin siyang buyback. Oh. Church on 800 gold. And uh, back their protection is available. They won't be able to continue and push. Medyo malayang creep waves in middle. They will decide to uh, try and push the tier to bottom tower. And hoping to continue since wala pa rin naman yung Beastmaster out for 40 seconds. Shiva's guard. To scout some information on where they are. A quick hex over to the tech is lift. Available the man with the rolling thunder, but they have the weasel blade. Ruby Kito might be uh, committing a great mistake, and down he goes. Will be bopping back immediately, and we have the rolling thunder for the Fangle here. Escaping from this, they have the controls over to the Drakio. Drakio out for 100. Now they need to bail out. That was a mistake for the side of Gladiators. Quinn still trying to tank all of this damage. Nine with the Swashbuckle, E Blade to try and save Quinn with a lift from the Rubik, keeping him alive and trying to disengage to force this fight. And the Impetus, of course, it will connect over to the Mirana. The two down for the side of Gladiators. Yeah, I'm trying to overextend for the team fight, but I'm still Gladiators. Still, pareh naman yung may control for this game. Nag-buyback din naman si Snake in for the team fight. So, two heroes walang buyback for the Hunter Esports. Nothing. Double check them. Ayun lang. Meron pang gem. But never mind. Abyssal Blade. Oh, maabot pa nga, Queen. Well, mukhang malabo na siya makatakas dito. Ando naman yung chain stand. Queen goes down. And I think for Tonda, kailangan nila ma-force it yung mga buybacks dito, if ever. Try to push out this middle lane. But the problem is, boy pa rin naman yung Underlord. He is someone for Gladiators na kaya talaga mag-defend ng push from Tonda. Sobrang bagay kasi talagang bumasag ng uh, towers ng Tundra. So I think, kung sasuerte yun sila sa timing ng Roshan, might be good for uh, Tundra Esports. Kaso, ah, Agonim's Blessing na naman yung pwede na makuha. And wala ka naman ng heroes na bibigyan ng Agonim's Blessing. Actually, Roshan will be up in 5 seconds. Time for them to grab this Roshan. Hindi ko na lang alam kung yung bibigyan ng Agonim's Blessing. Pwede siguro kayo na yun, tapos benta na lang yung Agonim's Blessing. Yeah, I mean, uh, much better at life. Or, uh, maybe maybe the techies. I mean, the techies okay naman yung arcs, di ba? Actually, parang mas better yata sa enchant. Kasi, naka-rekin tech naman yung tech. Oh. Uh, possible. 
So this is the uh, six or fifth, fifth road time, fifth road. Sa third day tayo nagkaroon ng third day. And the halos lahat yun, puro Agnes Blessing can provide. Chance na binigay. Spoink, spoink, spoink lang ata, spoink, spoink pa. Ah, spoink pa lang. Fifty-four minutes in. I will rip you apart. Mine. Why can I? So open line of cast range and take his. The good thing is that when you're in proximity, you're in Riverside, but you're in high ground. You're in telescope, but it's a turn. Oh, Shiva's guard will start the fight over to the Enchantress. So that's the Agnes blessing down. 90 seconds out for the Aoi 2000. They might be able to keep on going. Now Ryan with the Rolling Thunder doing his best to create some space for his team. They have the Yule Scepter to catch him with the arrow for the follow-up control. They have the Force Step, but it won't work. They have the Nullifier over to 9. But the Morph Cling might be a little bit too deep, but he has this multiple Force Step. Keep it alive! Dirakio is alive, and now over to the rest of the heroes inside of Tunda, taking out the Pangler together with the Ursa. Same goes to the Beastmaster, second life for Skeeter. Can he even fight back? Let's have the engage. Buyback immediately for the Beastmaster. They try trying to kite him down, but the Pita Smiles will be his job, but it has a BKB, so he'll be fine. For a couple of seconds, but the side of Vice kicks in with a double track ramp, trying to slow him out and take him out in the process. Down goes the Ursa. Has a buyback. They need to use it for sure. This is five heroes for gladiators approaching the mid lane. Are they going for the GG push? Milinax muna ata dito. Buyback for the Ursa. Hang on. Yeah, tamang region out lang muna siguro sila dito. Reset lang. Medyo nakamakting ating strength niyan eh. Nidirakyo eh. So parang ayaw nilang lumaban pa eh. Kailangan makapag region out in Tiraki. Mukhang hindi aabot yung ibang papasok sa Twin Speed. No, no, no. Yung Timber ang layo eh. Meron naman siyang BOT. Ay, actually wala. Ay, bumili na siya ang travel. Kaso hindi. Ginamit niya yung TP. So, cooldown pa rin. Ang tagal pa din yan. Kasi ginamit niya kanina yung iba pang TP eh. Hindi pa siya travel. Oo, yung normal na TP yung ginamit niya. Medyo matagal pa bago makahabol yung spin. But I think it's fine for the Rasha as well as the... Yes, I mean na. Wala naman kasing initiate na yung Torres Bird. Kapag wala yung Timber Soak, wala rin naman yung Pangler. So, I think even pa rin naman to. And actually, on its way naman na dito si Queen. And they're going for the set of racks. Dyer's top barracks have been completely cut down to size, as in they're gone. Grabbing recovery for the side of Gladiators. Like, who would have thought na aabot tayo sa ganitong timing na talagang may hirapan na yung Tundra Esports. Sobrang ahead nila kanina. Ang ganda na nangyayari for Tundra. Pero suddenly, Gladiators finding ways to have this comeback and going for the last lane for Tundra with a Shiva's guard to scout them out. Ursa with a forest step will be able to keep him alive, but they're just going for the set of Raxes. Milirax will be the only one left. They have the rolling counter to start. I mean, the rolling counter. It's gonna be uh, Arrow to task with the Impetus. Arrow, BKB for Skater, trying to look for Ace, but he had the lift save once again. Even Tofu has his own E Blade with the Primal Lord connecting over to the Morphling, but that was the defense will be used. Rolling counter coming in. Nine, trying to control Dracchio. Can they even kill him with the four stats? Just wave him out back to safety. Takes out the Pekius during that time. Oh god, Tundra. They're losing right now. Pekius dead for 80 seconds. No buyback. And uh, Finn's Gate available naman ulit para sa Underlord to try and reset things up. Yeah, so this might be the last team fight for Raton Race. First, wala na silang kahit anong buyback for this. Everything is on cooldown, so it's time for Gladiators to go for his high ground. Yep. Well, had it's enough fortification, so uh, there's no stopping the Rakio from getting this Megas. They need to start the fight right now, but how can they? They have the Primal Roar, but it won't be enough. And now Queen will be the one to initiate in. Over to the Enchanted Town, go for two minutes. No buyback. The Rakadito will be kept on hitting over to Skeeter with the Nullifier. And look at the damage. That's insane. The Primal Roar is not going to be enough to save him. 
Down goes Heather. Game is over. Gigi has been killed. Daddy Heather is taking the game one. Yeah, after your uh, 18 gig reviews from Dante Smith, parang ganun yata kalaki yung mga head game. Dante Smith, and one set of rocks taken by Dante Smith towards Gladi Heather. Still find ways to win this all game number one after a uh, 8 minutes game. Sobrang tagal na yung nabit natin dito for this game number. Pero sobrang ganda nung naging laban talaga basta Western Europe yung naglalaban na team. Pero yun nga lang na parang yung pinaka nag issue talaga dito for Tundra Esports is may hata sila na kahit without that notifier. Yung sobrang daming pang save nung uh, gladiators. They have yours, they have e-blades, they have multiple four staffs and wala tayong editing for Tundra Esports. So actually stop their heroes. So wala naman silang disabled. They only have Roar and the Rolling Thunder. Last off, hindi din naman siya ganun ka-reliable unlike a gladiator. They have a lot of good with the leaf, yung pit, even yung arrow, parang laging tumatama yun for Tofu with the Yule Scepter setup. I think Nani Fire lang yung naging problema talaga dito for Raton Day. Wala silang uh, ampigil talaga sa mga saves na ginagawa nila dito for GG. Ah, grabe. I mean, nagaday na ginawa ng uh, Kiladators dito. Hindi rin talaga nag-continuous yung uh, Liquid on uh, dominating and nagkaroon tayo na enough time for Gladiators to get their key items in order for them to have that comeback. So, magbabalik pa naman tayo for our game 2 after the short break yan, guys. So, be right back tayo and thanks so much for watching.